What's up? So, um, this is a uh, 5 tick CPU I have made. Right now, it's running on a 5 clock, which is the theoretical limit for a CPU. Um, well, of course, you could have you could have it running on a 1 clock, which is really the absolute limit, but that would cause pistons to break and so circuit, even piston circuits would be impossible and even now the circuit has some trouble with keeping up with the clock um, it uses my 3 tick adder this adder may look familiar to some of you because it has been used by, well Wheatley made his, his version of it and improved it a bit. Um, but I'll just keep with my design. Um, then, so basically, all it is is a accumulator style CPU where it just adds, adds, um, it has one function which is adding, so it adds the number, then it saves it and puts it back into the input. Um, so, this is the, uh, so we can count by whatever input this is, and there are a couple of control bits. Um, so here is zero, zero the register, Oh, it's setting it to that. I need to stop the clock. Type in zero in the register. There. Um, now I can turn the clock back on. Let us. Well, yeah. I'll just do the iterations. Let's see. Let's turn on one. Let's see, the answer is already one. Let's start adding. So on and so forth, and um, so this could be a great counter if anyone um, needed a really fast counter. But it really is a it's a CPU um, to kind of the loosest definition of a CPU, which is function with a AOU function that loops back into the AOU. So yeah. It's pretty cool. And then whatever the output is, you can um, store that in an outbound register once you're done computing. And I could just hook this up to here so it would be more complete, but that would probably that would technically add another tick. Or, well, <laughs> I'm just too lazy to really. But I guess it it really kind of would add up add up to another tick because of the uh, multiplexer required um, but then enough of that and I've been trying to make Tetris and this is Tetris so right now I have a score counter which I'll show you and these Tetris cells that um, complete some logic to act like Tetris. It will not be able to rotate, but it will have the other parts of Tetris. So, yeah. Um, so this, right now, I can't really show you anything. But, um, because it's not done. I can show you this, uh, this decimal counter. Which first I have to, this is using my shift register as a counter. And um, I'll probably show you that at the end of the video. But right now, let's show you the counter. So 
too. Something's wrong with this counter. I'll just have to go do it on the original. I copied it over there, and sometimes World Edit messes things up. This just counts in decimal. It's very compact. It only requires space on each side of the uh, display. And it can be stacked like that. So it just has a uh, this kind of decoder. I mean, encoder that encodes each input into the screen. And then it has my shift register as a counter and so it fits right under it and it's very compact and then every time it reaches zero it toggles the next counter advancing it by one and then so on and so forth so you could stack this infinitely and it could count in decimal And obviously have this screen, this is going to be the uh, Tetris screen, that's one cell. And I'll just show you my shift register. Um, so, you can shift down, shift up. Up. Turn off this clock. And, um, yeah, it's very compact. It uses the, uh, a bezel flop with the input coming from the last, um, coming from the last, uh, bezel flop. So, basically, how it works is the bezel flop, the, uh, block will come down and be powered by this block will be powered by this wire putting the whatever state this basil flop is onto this repeater and then each repeater will hold the state and then that state will be transferred into this block down into the basil flop while um, uh, this is down so not only is it taking the power from this and transferring it to that, but it's taking the input from over here and putting it inside of the battle clock. So that's a, I really wasn't, I was trying to make a counter for the decimal counter and really stumbled upon this design, um, which I think shifts very well. So, yeah, that's about all I've been working on recently. And, um, thanks for watching.